What's happening, Foxy Mamas and Cat Daddies? It's the Black Exploitation Fanatic with another episode of Black Exploitation Beauties, where we cover one of the fine, beautiful females from the Black Exploitation era. Today, we are talking about Marilyn Joy. Marilyn was an exotic dancer at a Hollywood club when movie producer Al Adamson approached her with an offer to be in movies. She actually didn't believe him at first, but agreed anyway. And that wind up leading to a role as a dancer in the Fred Williamson movie, Hammer. For most of her roles, her movie roles, she acted under the names Tracy King or Tracy Ann King. The black exploitation movies she had more prominent roles in were Black Samurai and Mean Mother, both of which were pretty horrendous <laughs> black exploitation movies. No soul sucker. I'm sorry. I'm sorry about your friend. She also plays an unsuspecting suburban housewife whose husband, played by John Daniels, is a pimp, and she has no clue about it at all, in The Candy Tangerine Man, which, in my opinion, is actually one of the most underappreciated black exploitation flicks of all time. She also had brief appearances in several other black exploitation joints like uh, Coffee with Pam Greer, uh, Hitman, Detroit 9000, and a few others. But her bigger contributions in movies came in several chick exploitation movies like uh, Blazing Stewardesses, Naughty Stewardesses, and the cult classic Ilsa, Harem Keeper of the Oil Sheiks. There's also a, a vignette in the slapstick comedy, The Kentucky Fried Movie, where she plays a character called Cleopatra Schwartz, which is intended to be a parody of Cleopatra Jones. Now, in addition to acting, for a while, Marilyn was actually considered the world's most famous black poster girl, as she did several photo shoots for Players Magazine. And though she didn't reach high acclaim, I can say that Marilyn Joy, aka Tracy King, is definitely another black exploitation beauty you want to check out. So long, motherfuckers. 